Shalom Alaikum. This is Yah Batiza with GMS. He is higher servants. I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yah Bashim Yah Bashai. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. Much love and respect to you, brothers, all throughout the four corners of the earth. All right. Um, I'm just coming back with another video this morning. I want to go into the topic about uh, people uh, saying that they are saved. All right. Are you truly saved? Okay. So. Basically, you know, Yahweh Shai puts certain scriptures in the Bible, letting you, letting us know that we are saved. But that's to build your confidence, to give you faith. Okay, because your faith is what's going to deliver you. But ultimately, at the end, Yahweh Shai is going to save you. He's going to uh, command you to come up into a cloud, into a chariot. That's when we're truly saved, man. All right, that deliverance. Right now, we're not saved. You know, you know, us brothers that are in the known, we we know that there's many, um, men, many men have came into this thing and fell out. You know, were they in their mind saying that they were saved? Maybe, but look what happened. So. You have to have that confidence, but it's that's that's one thing. That's one part of it. You know, the ultimate thing is when Yahweh Shai commands you to come up hither into a chariot, man. That's what. That's where it counts. All right. And in the midst of before all that, you're supposed to have faith, confidence, but you have to be humble about it because in the in these these Christian churches, they're they're proud and they're they're they're, they're uh um sure of themselves that they're saved but yet they live contrary to um the, the spirit man they don't do the will of the father's business all right and that's basically i just wanted to bring some precepts out about that to verify that you got uh you know the true deliverance is is, is whenever um and towards the end, when the Lord commands us to go up into a chariot, man, we're, when we're caught up in the chariot in the twinkling of an eye, man. All right, not while um, we're still here on this earth in hell, man, in our captivity. We're not saved yet. All right, but I'm going to go ahead and bring out the scripture. This is Matthew 24 and 13. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. All right, so you have to endure all the way to, to the end. All right, you have to go through all the hardships, all the, uh, the 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 evil, the bad things that are coming upon the earth, and if the Lord will, He's gonna deliver you. All right, because you're not gonna, you can't save yourself. Even if you're endeared through all the things that are gonna come upon the earth, you still have to uh, be faced with the um, the ICBM missiles, man, the intercontinental ballistic missiles when they start dropping them bombs over here in America. That's where you can you can you can get away with everything else that's gonna come upon the earth, but that last thing that's what's gonna be the one that's gonna destroy everything, man. It's not gonna leave one stone left upon another. All right, everything's gonna melt with fervent heat. All right, so you can't deliver yourself from that. You're gonna have to. Uh, we're gonna need a, a, a heavenly intervention, man. All right. And, and for uh, Yahweh Shai to take us up, man. And that's what's going to happen. So the same shall be saved if you're endeared to the end. But you have to wait on the Lord to call, call you up. All right. So um, I'm going to go from Matthew 24 and start at verse 30. And then shall, shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Are right, the other nations. And they're going to see him coming in clouds, with the, which are the chariots. Verse 31. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. And they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one heaven of the earth to the other. You see? So by the, um, the chariots that the angels uh, reside in. They're going to gather up the elect from the four corners of the earth, man. The four winds of the earth. North, south, east, and west. Okay?
okay? That's at the very end when the Lord cracks some clouds before America's gonna be destroyed. All the earth is gonna be, uh, dropped, bombs are gonna be dropped on. It's gonna be one world war, man. The third world war. That's the ultimate deliverance that we're looking for. That's when we know for sure that we've made it, man. Okay? So until then, you proud individuals that are saying that you're, you're saved, you're not saved, man. All right? You're not saved. And this, these are the scriptures to prove it. I'm going to go from there to the book of Revelations 11. Let's start at verse 12. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, right? That's that's the elect. They heard that sound of the trumpet, which Yahweh Shai commanded his angels, the chariots and the chariots, to gather up his elect from the four winds of the earth. And guess what? It says, and they, which are the elect, the ones that are destined to be delivered, saved, all right? And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud and their enemies beheld them. That's when we know we made it. And the twinkling of an eye when we hear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the spirit to come up and he's going to take us up in a in a in a, in a, uh, in a twinkling of an eye in a twinkling of an eye by a beam from a chariot, man. All right? And he's going to suck us right up. That's when we know we made it. At that last moment, at the end, when the ICBM missiles will start bombing up everything on this side of the world and the next, because war is going to go on in the next, all right? This is going to be the greatest deliverance ever, ever, man. No man has ever made a, 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 a deliverance at, at, at a great multitude as Yahweh Shai is about to do, man, nor made an entrance into any nation or kingdom as magnificent as Yahweh Shai is about to come in. All right, so you self-proclaimed Christians, you proud-ass individuals that are out there in the, in, the, in the world, in churches, and you Edomites, you're not saved, man. You Edomites are not going to receive no deliverance or salvation. You're going into captivity, man. All right? So I just wanted to bring out these scriptures, brothers. You know, just make a real quick clip. Uh, but I uh, hope it was edifying. You know, until next time, I want to say Shalom.